grandmothers. We are the cooks, the cleaners, the uplifters, the motivators, the teachers, the trainers. And in this day and age, we do all that and we still work. We do everything that I just mentioned and we still hold down a nine to five. My goodness, sheesh. We can be tired, feet hurt, in pain, back hurt. Going through absolute, the absolute worst time of our lives emotionally, let, yet we will get up, we will suck it up. We will put on our Sunday's best, because y'all know we know how to work some Ross dress for less, don't we? <laughs> All that. But we will walk in the room with our heads held high, like nothing is wrong with us, with a big smile on our face. We will walk in the room like a royal queen. And do you know why? Because that's exactly what we are. Each and every one of us. So it's high time we start acting like that. All right. So girl, don't be scared to finally accept and acknowledge that you are indeed a brilliant, beautiful, magnificent queen. All of us are. Women are one of God's prized creations. We're one of God's most carefully designed beings. It was not easy. I had many, many dark days. My faith in God and humanity was completely shattered. There was no family to lean on, so I created my own. I got married to my first husband, and yes, I've had a few. <laughs> but I got married to my first husband, when I was 18 years old, and let me tell you, no one needs to be married at 18. My husband, so with no knowledge, no knowledge of how to be a wife, my husband went to work every day with the finest lunchable in the store. <laughs> Capri Sun and a snack. <laughs> I did it, and so can each and every one of you. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes, we all have a true purpose here. And by here, I mean on this earth, in this life experience, we all have a true calling here. And I urge everybody in this room, don't you sleep. Don't you dare sleep until you figure out what yours is. You go after your purpose and your calling with every fiber in your being. And you don't stop until you figure it out. Because, because God placed you here for a reason. You are here for a reason. You are here for a reason. You are here for a reason. And it's not just to eat, sleep, work, file your income tax, and go to Vegas once a year. <laughs> there is more to life than that. You are more significant than that. Because there has been nothing more gratifying in my life than finally realizing my true purpose.